here at the nation's capital invite with Phoebe Bacon, 15 year old who made some made an impression last week at a U.S. Nationals. Was in at least one, at least one final. Yes. Of that um, 100 back and got some nice experience and now racing here in some some different events. So let's start by talking about your growth as a as a swimmer on at big meets. You've been to a few now in a final at U.S. Nationals. What was mm -hmm. that like? It was just um, it was a big experience. Like I've never. I guess gotten to like that level where I was like a final at like a national level meet, like all, everybody's sort of like looking down at you. It was it was a lot of fun. Yeah, you were next to Olivia Smiley, right? In the final. <laughs> yep. What was that like? Do you get to talk to her at all? I got to talk to her a little bit in the ready room, uh, mostly about my last name. <laughs> but <laughs> I can um, see her. I can see her appreciating that. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, we talked a little bit after, but she she was really nice. Mm -hmm. What is the what is it like having a conversation with someone like that and, and then knowing that she's your competition too? Well, I don't know, like look, I, I usually, I used to like look up to her like like as a sure. role model and now just swimming against her, talking with her, like just a, a competition now, it's like a big change, right. but it's, it like shows that I feel like I'm on the like right path. How did nationals for you feel different than say like Olympic trials? Nationals? I. Definitely, I was a little bit more relaxed because okay. it was like my third big, big time meet, and I had a lot more events, and I was able to sort of think about it as like a regular meet that I was just going to get some second swims and just like try my best. So it, it, that feels like a big transition going from okay, I'm here from the experience, I'm overwhelmed to this is just a normal swim meet. Yeah. How how did that happen for you? That transition. Uh. I guess throughout over the summer, I went to World Trials, and that one was also a little bit. I was a little bit nervous going into it. At all, or? A little bit, because okay. again, it was like the bigger scene, like all the Olympians there, yep. and just like me, sort of thing. And then that definitely helped, like, sort of transition to me thinking, all right, it's just another meet. Right. Do you think about? Like in terms of like your events, do you think about okay, these are my events, these are the events? Because you you said you did, got some seconds in the World Trials, um, the 50 back, the 100 back. So do you do you think of those like kind of your events? Is there more pressure, less pressure in those events versus like other events that you swim? Mm. I don't really think there's probably more pressure in the like 150 back compared to okay. if I was swimming butterfly or even breaststroke. <laughs> <laughs> those I feel like a little bit less pressure because okay. like I don't think of them as my events. So it's not like, oh my gosh, I have to do good on them. Do you think of the 200 I am, the 200 back? Where are those events kind of in the uh, in the spectrum? I hope for them to be better <laughs> and better in the next like year or two. I okay. want them to be some of my better events and just more practice with them. I need. How? Where are you with 200s? A lot of people say I struggle with them. Okay. I mean, I think they're getting better and better. Okay. And I, that's all that matters, like small drops here and there. What is the key to improving at 200? I think underwaters. Okay. Yep. How about endurance? Is that something that you're sort of still working on, being able to hold that speed for, for that long? Yeah, I guess. Like, especially in the uh, 200 back, like a lot of being able to hold your, like, tempo along yep. with holding the underwaters is all, like, a big, like, balance that you got to really get, I feel. Here at the uh, Nation's Capital Meet, you swam the two fly last night. <laughs> um, had a bit of a, I don't want to say a rough third 50, but, and then you came back and won your heat after sort of holding back the third 50. Mm -hmm. where, where, does, where does that event fall in terms of the uh, of things? Well, I've never really been a two flyer. and Most people wish they weren't, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, coach, my coach put me in it, sort of I decided also to swim it, and I was sort of just going, looking at it like, let's see what I can go. I, I have a pretty solid 100 fly, I feel, so just let's try it out. Yeah. Um, what are your goals right now? What is it that you think of on a day-to-day -day basis? Like, this is what I want to accomplish at this point, that point. Um, it's a lot of, I guess, just like at practice, like all the little goals that I have there, just on In terms like... terms of like making a set or something? Or? Yeah, okay. a lot of like, or like, like goal times for sets. And then I know bigger goals like Fiji this summer would be awesome. Yep. And then like even farther goals, the Olympics, but... Sure. They're all there and they're all in my head. Have you started to think about like, okay, this is what I'm going to have to do to make Junior Pan Packs this summer. This is what I need to be at, at Nationals to, to have a shot at that. Um, I think, well, this past week at Nationals when I came in fourth, like that really sort of gave me the thought like, wow, 
I could really do this. Like, uh, I can go to this. Just yeah. working hard in practice, I guess. Yeah. Should be a fun summer. Phoebe Bacon, mm -hmm. thanks for sitting down and chatting. No problem. Thank you.